Hey guys, so we have here our Canon Pixma printer slash scanner. And in this video, we want to explain to you how to scan and print with this uh, printer here and a Mac computer using a USB wired connection. So we don't want to use the Wi Fi function. So, first of all, we need a USB cable that has the USB type B on one end. And then, depending on what type of computer we have here, we're using either USB type A or type C for the connection to our computer. Okay, so first we start by connecting the USB cable here on the printer. We're going to take a look at the back side here on the left by the power cord. That's where we find here up in that corner, here the USB B port. So let's plug in our cable right in here, should be pretty easy. And then we're going to do the same on our computer as well, on our Mac. In this case, here the MacBook Pro with two USB-C ports. Here yeah, my cable, my wire here has the uh, USB-B connector, though, or USB-A connector, though. So I'm going to use this adapter that I have always ready. I'm plugging this in right here. So now let's switch to our Mac. And here we're going to go to the upper left corner, looking for system settings. And in there, we're going to... Uh, scroll all the way down until we find printers and scanners. I'm going to click on that. And here, technically, we should already find the printer. It should already be part of the list. You can try using it, uh, finding it by pressing here the uh, Add Printer button. Or uh, what works for me usually is by just unplugging the USB cable just for a second and then bus plugging it back into our computer and then it will eventually show up here. So here we see now our Can Canon Pixma. Okay, so now we can click on here to see a couple of options and settings. And uh, we can also, for example, set this as the default printer here on the bottom left. We just click on that button uh, to always use that printer, the Canon Pixma here by default. And then let's continue by scanning a document. So we're going to open here Press on Open Scanner. This will open up the image capture software that's pre-installed. And here we're going to select here our Canon Pixma. It's going to bring up another pop-up. And here we can uh, pre-scan, like um, scan the overview, just to see what's on the uh, scanner bed right now. So this only takes a couple of seconds. It's really fast. And once that is completed, then we can select the area, the precise area that we want uh, to scan. So this is where we select the document. It's trying to be smart, so it's kind of trying to uh, pre-select a different uh, certain area, but usually we have to adjust it a little bit. See, we're going to drag these, the corners here out to exactly the uh, size of our document. Also, we have a lot of adjust uh, options here that we can select like the uh, resolution of our scan. The higher the resolution, the bigger the file size, and also the longer the scan will take. And eventually, we're going to press on scan. And this also now takes several seconds, depending on the size of the image, and if we're uh, scanning in color, or in white and or black and white. So I'm speeding this up here just a little bit, so we don't have to wait so long. And then the, uh, the result will be automatically saved as an image in the uh, no, our pictures folder. So you're going to find that here, in there, and then also here, of course, we have the preview of, uh, so we can check the result, how it looks like. And so with the current settings here, you can see here how uh, good this image is, how good the print or the scan was. And you can verify that everything is correct with that image. So that's pretty much it for uh, the scanning. So now let's switch over to how to print. In this example, we're going to use uh, pages, which is, comes pre-installed with any Mac. Uh, so we're just having a new document, just typing something in here. This is a test. And then in the uh, title bar, we're going to click on File, and then all the way down, that's where we find Print. This will bring the uh, bring up the uh, printing setup uh, pop-up. And here we have a couple of options that we can do. We can select how many copies we want. Uh, if you want black and white, black or white, and or color copies or color prints. And all we have to do in the end is then press print again. And at this point, our printer should start working. So after a couple of, couple of seconds after the data has been sent over to the printer, it will start printing out our document. And that was already it for this video. Hope you found the information helpful.
And if you have any more questions or comments, then please leave a message below.